We begin at 10 with breaking news as the Massachusetts State Police are mourning one of their own tonight. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. This is video from within the last hour of K-9 Frankie's body arriving in Cranston to be cremated. He was transported from Massachusetts with full honors. K-9 Frankie was killed in the line of duty today during a standoff with an armed wanted fugitive in Fitchburg. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts joins us now live from Cranston with more. Amanda. Well, Mike Shannon, about 80 police cruisers were in that procession escorting canine Frankie from a pet hospital up in Massachusetts here to Cranston, where he will be cremated, getting full honors the whole way. As you can see here, his handler, along with members of the state police special tactics and operations team, lined up at the entrance to final gift pet memorial center as Frankie was brought inside, draped in an American flag. Those officers are the ones who were with the canine earlier today when he was tragically killed. Police say it happened during an attempt to arrest a wanted suspect who had barricaded himself inside a home in Fitchburg. He fired at officers and hit Frankie. He was transported by ambulance to an animal hospital after being shot, making him the first under Nero's law, which was passed last year. We're told Frankie served for about nine years and was highly decorated. In 2017, he and his handler were awarded the Medal of Valor. Now, Frankie is the first Massachusetts State Police canine to die in the line of duty. He was set to turn 11 next month, and state police said in a statement that he was a loyal partner to his handler and had all the traits they look for in a law enforcement officer. Live in Cranston tonight, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.